just completing uh, the story of the last two days, Yankees stink. I came on the show Monday. Did you go at yesterday? Afternoon game? No. You would have been home in time. <laughs> I did Adam Ray's podcast instead. Oh, I did much. Nice. I, I had a much better time. By the way, better time well spent. Oh, is that why you were here when we left yesterday? No, I, I did it at his spot. Oh, gotcha. So um, I came on the, the, the show Monday, and I'm like, hey, Yankees have a chance to show up in Anaheim, ruin the Angels' season, make them think nothing but Otani's got to go because we're out of it. Show Otani what it's like. They're a better team. And put the Angels in a position where they're out of it, season over. Instead, the Angels flip the script and do it to the Yankees. Sweep them. And yesterday, when the Yankees need a win the most, certainly when Otani, I, I, he was kind of supposed to start, but he, did he tweak his back a little yeah, bit the other day? Yeah, he tweaked his back in game two. Yeah, so yeah. they throw out yeah. Chase Silseth. And, God bless you. And, and only get one run off him, while Carlos Rodon, their huge offseason acquisition, the centerpiece of Brian Cashman's pitching plan for the upcoming season, He's hurt, obviously, and he comes back, and he um, might not be ready to be back (laughs) based on his last two pitching performances of the first three. And yesterday, he gets sent to the showers early, and we, New Yorkers and Yankee fans, are everywhere, and somebody uh, in, uh, in Anaheim, uh, began to heckle him <laughs> yep. and tell Carlos Rodon, essentially, despite being in the beautiful confines of Southern California, down the street from one of the happiest places on earth, uh, this is what happens when you come to New York. <laughs> you hear it. Yep. A Bronx cheer in Anaheim. And you know how he responded? He blew a kiss to the face. Yeah. <laughs> well, the New York Post caught notice oh, of that. Oh, gosh. Back page yes. on Thursday. Kiss oh. ass with the S's being dollar signs. <laughs> Rodone Yanks 162 million lefty shows some thin skin and no command in latest loss. This is what happens Post. when you go to New York and you do not perform and you are highly paid and you need to win and everybody's counting on you to do so and you don't. And interestingly enough, at the very top of the page, I would think a bit of a warning sign. <laughs> it's about to get real, it says. Rogers Jets to begin playoff quest in earnest with first camp practice today. And there's Rogers Jeez. in his new Jets number eight. It's about to get- a warning sign, a shot across the bow from the New York Post. And I don't know why they put it in Packers colors, too. <laughs> yeah, they did. That's- All right. I, again, I'm, maybe I'm reading too much into it. It is. And yes, TJ, it's, I see it says Verlander Gem Powers Mets at the bottom. <laughs> I mean, don't, but don't ignore that. That, to me, shows you if you're not ready for New York and you're going to blow a kiss to the fans thinking, I hear you, but go F you yeah. <laughs> when I am totally underperforming in a spot you, fan base, need me to show up like the $162 million pitcher that I believe I am. That's the treatment you're going to get. So, that to me was like a warning shot to Rodgers. Not that he needs one. I think he understands what time it is. But maybe he might get a little chippy if things don't go well. And the problem is if the blood in the water is smelled in advance, because let's just say your team is indicated you don't want the spotlight, like from HBO and NFL Films. And in that regard, Robert Sala showed up today to meet with the media. His first big press conference on this day, first, second full day of Hard Knocks cameras being there, wearing an I Heart HK t-shirt. And we assume HK stands for Hard Knocks. Yeah. <laughs> Embrace it. Yeah. How do you feel about it, Robert? Now it's official with Hard Knocks. Obviously, you said what you said in June. Yeah, I, we're fine. I mean, we've been doing one Jets drive for the last couple of years, so it's uh, just talking with Hard Knocks, and, uh, you know, they've got a great group of people that uh, are working with us, and uh, uh, we express some of our concerns. They've, uh, they've answered it, and, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be fine. 
It's a, no different than one jet's drive. By the way, one jet's drive, um, a lot of folks may not know, it's a behind the scenes look. Um, and for their draft shows, I've been doing the voiceover for it. So if Aaron wants to meet me, oh, like he yeah, wants yeah, to meet yeah. Liev, yeah. He, he knows where to FaceTime me. I thought Robert Sala might have just been a big Henry Kissinger fan. It could have been yeah. that. Very good. You keep going. Yeah. Well done. Like Sala, yeah, he had to flip the script. You have to. You cannot come out and say, I don't, we don't want the attention. The attention is not something we want. The heat and the spotlight is something that may set us off. So that's a way of blowing a kiss in a very wink and a nod way, as opposed to what Rodone did in Anaheim. <laughs> And, you know, this guy, Rodone, Rodone. hey, ready. Carlos, you're in New York, pal. South side of Chicago and the friendly confines of San Francisco, you are not in anymore. And as far as Yankee fans are concerned, you didn't pitch a perfect game or a no-hitter yet. While Rodone turns Taylor Ward into Tim Salmon and Mickey Moniak, right? Into oh, Gary Moniac. Anderson. Tim Salmon. <laughs> Salmon. You know what I'm saying? So good on Sala for coming out, making fun of it, talking about the elephant in the sure, room. I great. think it's a, by the way, I think it's a great idea because, you know, the I Heart HK is in the font of I Heart I, NY. NY yep. The famous I Heart I, NY I love New York. logo. Yep. You know, so I think it's made because that was a Nike shirt. I know. I think it's a great idea. Whoever's idea it was is just put it out there and then we'll deal with it. And that's it. Because you made the splashiest move. You got Aaron Rodgers. You do have all of the attention on you. You have earned it. Embrace it and push back. Because if you set the standard of we don't want to hear it when it goes maybe south, then maybe your new guy blows a kiss or does whatever something else could be construed as such. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.